it's Brandon here. The new jailbreak is out for the IPSW 4.0.2 and this works for the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch second generation non-MC model. Now this will uh, be updated for all you other generations and other users out there and to keep updated and everything the instant the jailbreak comes out uh, stay in touch with this website down in the description it's this iPhone heat uh, website that I'll have and it will inform you immediately once the new jailbreak is out for them so as you can see for right here um, it has different devices iPod, iPhone 3GS no update jailbreak tool available yet but once the jailbreak comes out for the device it will um, have something right there instead of that so as you can see like the 3G has some stuff just like the second generation um, so anyway what you're going to be doing is you're going to just click on this red snow icon it's going to load up this um, how to jailbreak the second generation and you're going to go ahead and click on uh, if you're on Windows you're going to click on this mirror one or if you're on Mac you're going to click on this mirror one and once you click on it it's going to bring up a rapid share website and you're going to click free user and you're just going to download that now this will be downloaded as a zip file so you're going to have to use either a WinRoar program or something to unzip the file and place it somewhere you'll remember it so that's the main thing that people had trouble with with the last red snow jailbreak was that the file was zipped and they were complaining because it wasn't working just make sure you unzip it and then it should work just fine anyway now you're gonna after you download that you're gonna go back to the page and you're gonna download the 4.0.2 firmware you can download it right there Oh, and you have to download the 4.0 firmware okay and make sure that you are on iTunes 9.2.1 that's the most updated one and um, I'll also have all the firmwares on this other uh, website called Felix Burns you're just going to go down to this little window thing and then you'll just scroll down to your device and find the firmwares you need Make sure that you get both the firmwares and that they are uh, unzipped as well so that they can work for the Red Snow program. Now after you have downloaded both of those and they have been unzipped, you're going to want to go ahead and open Red Snow and it's going to welcome you to their program and you're going to go ahead and browse for the 4.0 firmware. Now this is now this is important. You do not want to click on the 4.0.2 firmware. Uh, you want to click the 4.0 firmware even though your device will be on the 4.0.2 when you do this jailbreak. Like right now my iPod is on the newest firmware, but you want to use the 4.0 firmware to kind of trick the system so that you can jailbreak your device. So you're going to go ahead and click on the 4.0 firmware right there. And then it's going to process the firmware. And it'll bring up this little warning and ask you if you're on an MC model. And you're going to click no since we are not an MC model. And you're going to click next. And it's going to just get ready for the jailbreak. Now this is going to ask you um, what you want to add onto your iPod. This right here says install Cydia and yes you, of course you're going to want to get Cydia so you can get all your applications and such. Um, the This boot logos, these are for boot logos and customization things for your uh, when you load up your iPod so you don't need any of those unless you really want them. And this, you can enable multitasking, enable home screen wallpaper, and battery percentage. Um, I personally am going to be using a, a winter board for this. When I download Cydia, I'm going to download winter board. I have a video on how to get all of uh, the multitasking and all of this other stuff um, in a video I made previously. I'll have that in the description. Anyway, I previous I prefer the wet, the winter board program because I can choose when I want it on and when I want it off and which ones which features I want and so 
this is just more customizable but I, anyway you can click on those if you would like and um, after you select which ones you want you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna click the next button right down here and now it's gonna ask you to only click next if next if your device is both off and plugged in so it's plugged in but my device isn't completely off you're just gonna hold the power button you're gonna wait for it and you're gonna slide slide it off if I can do it okay so my device is off and it's plugged in so now we're going to go ahead and um, get ready because we're gonna have to probably put it in DFU mode so just make sure you follow the instructions and uh, I'm gonna try to do this with you know one hand so please bear with me uh, as I do this so here we go I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready okay here we go hold the power button corner for one then without releasing it hold the home button for seven six five four three two one zero now hold the home button for 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 2. Alright. Now your screen should turn white and it should be doing all the jailbreaking stuff. It's waiting for reboot. Now your iPod should say downloading jailbreak data, uploading RAM disk. It's just continuing on with the jailbreak. Now the Red Snow program will say done. Everything else is going to be taken care of on your device, so you can just close out of the Red Snow program by clicking finish. And you can close out this other window you have. There we go. Now you're just going to wait for your iPod, and we'll see what it does. It's going to bring up a little quick pawn pineapple thing, and it's just flashing NOR, just continuing on with the jailbreak, so no worries, it's just going to keep going through all the process to jailbreak your device. And now it should bring up the Apple icon, and it should be almost close to finished. Alright, so it just finished, and now we're going to open it up, and now we're going to just slide to the, over here, and there's Cydia, I'm just going to go ahead and move it real quick and um, go ahead and click on it. It should bring up a little thing saying that it's just going to recognize it. All right, yep, and it will close when it's finished. Once it, fin once it closes up, I'll go right back into it for you guys. All right, so I just finished closing out of it, and I just got back into the home page, and so now we're going to go back to Cydia. It should just load up like normal. And there's Cydia for you guys, and you can go ahead and go to manage, and you can add, um, you know, sources if you want, and um, you can get all the things you want on your iPod with the, you know, cracked apps or whatever you're going to get. So I hope this helped, and um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave one down below, and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.